So let's first address the elephant in the crowd or the biggest fascination for any kind of low budget filmmaker or editor that is the most expensive gears out there. As we all know the expensive camera gears can shoot at a really high frame rates. So what we get in return we get a really buttery smooth slow motion. But we guys have cameras which we can shoot at only at like 25, 30 or 50 fps. Never going for 120 or 250 or even 500 fps. But there is a little hack inside this all which we can turn our normal 30 or 50 or 25 fps to buttery smooth 100 fps clips. So how do we do it? So here I am actually working on this clip which is shot by Peter Fowler and I link this clip in the description and this is a really good clip of a beautiful sunset and a good beach and a surfboard and a man. Okay. So if I go to the Metamedia and you know check the properties, I'm just I am gonna just hide the inspector tablet uh, so that you can get a really good clear idea of the property of the video and you can see it's shot at around 30 fps 29.9 and it has a resolution of 1080p okay so this is a really good clip at the normal speed uh, so as you guys know if you're not really good with editing and slow motion the for a really for getting the perfect slow motion you can only reduce you know the percentage of speed according to the fps rate right so for 30 fps you can reduce to 70 percentage for 25 75 50 50 percentage goes on so this is a 30 fps video so the most buttery smooth slow motion would only be till 70 percentage frame rate so let's just look at our speed at 70 percentage and it's really smooth slow motion so what happens if we down our speed from 70 per percentage to so what if we even reduce our so what if we reduce our speed even lower than 70 percentage let's do that and see what happens so in order to do that just press ctrl and r by selecting the clip so that you can get this speed change clip or and you know just stretch it out to be any kind of percentage or just press R and you can get this one and change the speed to around let's crank it up till it feels really weird around 50 percentage would make it really weird I guess okay let's see the clip now now you can see it's not actually having a really smooth slow motion it's kind of really jittery so what do we do in resolve to make this really smooth the answer is actually two clicks away. So what do we do? Press this clip, go to the inspector tablet again. I'm just closing the metadata and go to retime and scaling. If this is not open, just double click retime and scaling and you get this pop up window. So if you look closely, there is a option known as retime processor, retime process and there is an option of drop down and a drop down setting saying project setting. You click on the drop down and you have near nearest frame, frame blending and the biggest of all optical flow. I'm just going to select the optical flow. Nothing has changed, right? Now let's just play back the video once more. This is the video which has a 50% of speed and usually it should be really weird because it was shot at 30 fps and we have actually cranked down the speed to a really much drastical extreme but we did introduce optical flow so let's see the result now look at the buttery smooth slow motion let's just compare the two clips and here they are with optical flow and without optical flow it's a massive difference, right? So this is a really big difference with optical flow. And I guess this is the basic and the major hack that any filmmaker should learn. And don't get obsessed with this high-end brands, even though they are pretty good. You can really play off with the low-end cameras and gears also. Uh, creativity, creativity is the key, right? It's the first page, the last page, and the fucking book of filmmaking. 
So if you like this video, definitely press that like button. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the channel, man. And hope you guys to see you and hope to see you on the next one, man.